there are a lot of students from India who go and study overseas and their parents uh, provide them money for monthly expenditure in various ways including through the issue of an add-on card. Now that child uses that add-on card on various activities uh, uh, overseas and obviously these cannot be very large sums of money. Aren't they inconvenienced? So the government has clarified two things. First is that the amount which is sent overseas for the purpose of education is within the 5% remit and not 20%. How so do, how do, sorry, sorry for interrupting you. How does how how do we distinguish that if you send let's say a thousand dollars that's a lot of money for an average student and he uses something for fees something for his travel for food how do you distinguish after all all the expenditure is for a for education absolutely I did that I was just coming to that I was just completing my, sure, my point sure. so a question was put to the government that if a if you're going overseas and take a simple example you're talking about thousand dollars and where it has been spent but on travel you are saying 20 percent but if i have traveled for med medical purpose or education what will happen and the government strangely has come out with an answer to say that should be five percent and we'll come out with clarification on how to do that i really do not know how will this happen because it's so the purpose is education medical is a wider term includes not only direct expenditure includes even indirect how will the government monitor and how will taxpayers really uh, go by all of this is something which is unfathomable to me. Will I be, will I be uh, right in saying that 99.999% uh, of the data that might be generated will be lying in, in the electronic version of dusty files that are found <laughs> in government offices despite uh, the Narendra Modi government's attempts to throw out such dusty files. This is typical tax bureaucracy at at work. Uh, a, a quick follow up on that point, $1000 as an example, does that $1000 now go up for the parent who is sending that $1000 to the child? Yeah, it does because when you make that $1000 remittance, whether it is 5% or 20%, you have to pay extra. Therefore, your outgo from your pocket is going to be $1000 plus either 5% or 20% depending on the purpose for which you have sent. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.